Okay, folks, uh, it's Lord's March Plaza. I'm going to go ahead and read uh, all the dialogue, starting with the chain giver, I guess, Berwick Borley. Ho there, warlock. You are looking for work, are you not? My associates and I have just arrived from Morgrave University in Sharn, you know. We require assistance retrieving artifacts of extreme archaeological value from various locations in Zendrick. I have been assured that Stormreach is where adventurers might be recruited, and we must move quickly. So then, are you interested? Tell me what you need retrieved. Splendid! The artifacts of interest are called the Planar Eyes. There are 13 of them, one for each of pro primary planes. We're trying to retrieve four of these. The Eye of Kurthri, the Eye of S Serania, the Eye of Irian, and the Eye of Dalcor. Scholars are, alas, poorly suited for an expedition such as this. Hence your involvement. And you have shown excellent timing as well. No sooner had we arrived on Zendrick's shores than we heard that a cult called the Hidden Hand seeks the planar eyes as well. They're nipping at our heels, poised to make off with the artifacts. At this very moment, make haste, dear adventurer, make haste. What do you need me to do? Let's begin with the most urgent case. It's imperative we obtain the Eye of Kurthri as soon as possible. The churning chaos it channels is unstable, to say the least, and just imagine what might happen if the Hidden Hand were to get a hold of it. Thaddeus Dunbury thinks he has tracked down the Eye of Kurthri. Speak to him to learn more. I'll ask Thaddeus for details. An adventurer, eh? Yes, you do look robust enough. I've been sent here by Morgrave University in Sharn to obtain one of the planar eyes on behalf of the university's museum. But someone like you would doubtless make a better job of it than a theorist like myself. The magic contained in the planar eyes is unstable, dangerous if left uncontained. We at the university believe it's in our best interest, in everyone's best interest, to collect the eyes and store them in a state-of-the-art facility. The Eye of Kurthri is especially dangerous, yet we've been unable to convince the Sulatar Drow to part with it, even though the Eye is becoming more unstable with each passing day. So you want me to get this Eye of Kithri, regardless of what the Sulatar say? Well, yes. They store the Eye of Kithri in an, at the, an ancient Sulatar shrine outside Stormreach, but our readings show that the Eye generates an unstable magic field. If that field were to invert, it could cause a planar flux. That would threaten all of Zendrik. We've explained this to the Sulatar, but they refuse to turn over the eye or even give us access to it. They say it's because the eye is sacred, but that's just rank superstition. If the Sulatar won't turn it over, we'll have to take it for the safety of everyone on this continent. Time is of the essence. Will you take the job? I can teleport you directly to the shrine. Send me to the shrine. I'll get the Eye of Kithri. Enter the quest. An element of chaos. Okay, we're going to start with six skulls, see how it goes. Ancient Sulatar Shrine. The it's underground. Does anybody need Death Ward? Oh, never mind. We got Godfather to do Mass Death Ward. I'm going to go ahead and drink one of these potions. I already have the Lasting Bear stamina going, so I don't need to drink that. And uh, primal scream. Anybody need freedom? Because right. you know Ginger's gonna like. I, I have a mic. 
Let's stay together, please. I like the look of it so far. First impression. We should be Salamanders. Able to decide our damage. Oh, here's the eye. We're done. Okay, just kidding. <laughs> Did it say adventure short? <laughs> Let's go over here. I see some wascally sulatar. Defend the shrine. Nice insta kills. You girls are hot. I'll hold them, you fold them. Oh, puzzle. It's with the and whip ass. <laughs> you we stand next to each other and look at us go. <laughs> no try. Y'all are adorable. Power of the gnomes. That's right. I think that's the first time we've seen that puzzle in a circle. No, it's in, um... Isn't it? There's or... one in, um, housekeeping. Uh, oh. Oh, there's a little puzzle over there. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I was talking with the viewer Traffic about that the other night, about when uh, puzzles were first introduced. Was that Ride the Storm or whatever that is? Our trapper's talking. Yeah, let me find some traps here. I think Riding the Storm Out introduced that puzzle, but I know that puzzle's also in black and blue. I guess that was the same time, so yeah. Yeah, they all came out together, but that was when it was introduced, right? I think so, that Simon Says puzzle. I think so, too. Door. Let's try the door. Oh, Sax, you're holding the bow different. Yeah. So far, this is cake on R6. Let's try this way. It looks like a dead end. Oh no, it's a fork. I hear a trap. We have a shrine. A trap. And a trap. Let's clear the shrine. Oh, trap box is right there. The shrine. Yeah, Orberon, I do want to get the glaciation, the, the fusible glaciation scepter for Ginger. Okay, this door is not open. Oh, here's a lever over here. Darnock, the ever burning blue fire shield, sure. using Sleet Storm so that he doesn't firewall us. There's another Sleet Storm up over there to extinguish that firewall. Why is that firewall not going out? That's definitely in that Sleet Storm. Ah, see, he just tried to cast one on me and it was extinguished immediately because of the sleet storm. If 
fire doesn't work very well in sleet, just in case you didn't know that. And that applies to real life, too. Doesn't look like a name chest. Doesn't look like these. This is just decor, it looks like. Doesn't look like they do anything. That magic room. More mobs. Oh, you gotta have a, gotta have a person standing in each one. We could try it. What the hell? Let's just see. Let's have a person stand on each one and see if it all of our all of our dreams come true. There's <laughs> four people staying and they're gonna die. Insta death. The devs are watching. Dun dun. Oh, I'm glad you said that because I didn't even think of that. You know, but it looks like no. But it is like no. Nothing. That would be cool. Oh, is it a ledge? Oh, there's stuff coming. What's down there? What's down? I see door. I see something that says door down there. There is a door down there. Let's keep going this way. Maybe that's the... The Balrog. Fly, you fools. Yeah, we're going down. This game has an amazing ability to fail to target everything but the mob directly in front of me. Which just happened with that Despair Reaper. A little electric going on here. I don't know if that's something disableable. This is a pretty cool looking little room. Mm -hmm. I like the fire and ice theme of it. Ooh, and you can fall. And there's light gravity. I'm going in. That looks cool. Flags. Why did it have to be flags? I think they're cool. Flags. When I first saw them, Google I thought part. they were really cool. Yeah. <laughs> I like the look and feel well, of this. This looks really nice. Yeah, it does. Yeah. Ow. Does it feel nice? The water. I'm not sure how y'all died. The water came electrified. It's the water. The water? Yeah, don't land in the water. The ice is slippery. It says I was killed by misadventure. What? I have freedom of movement. Why is the ice slippery if we have freedom of movement? I 
The best element to use against slot? I think it would depend on the slot. I'm not sure though. Freedom of movement it's supposed to make you immune to slippery surfaces, damn it. Freedom of movement, this grants aware the ability to move and attack normally while under the influence of magic that impedes movement, such as paralysis, solid fog, slow and web. That's supposed to do slippery surfaces as well. No, it, I didn't seem to be taking damage from the ice. These are supposed to be the new Indiana Jones-like quests. Diving into the temple. Retrieving the artifact. Very colorful. I love the colors. Yeah, that is nice. Whoop, trap. I love the elemental theme. Here's the I have Kithri. It's mine. I shall rule oh. the world. <laughs> Hopefully you're not locked out. Hopefully you just click on them to enter. Yeah, you can just click on it. Okay, I can't select it. Is something happening? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Shit all around us. It's a load. Fear Reaper. Fear Reaper to the right. Despair Reaper. Is the boss stuck over there? Oh, there he comes. This is the first time we've had like a death slad boss. That's cool. Yeah. We've had death slads before, but never like a named one. That's pretty badass. is not bothered by the acid. Am I bothered by the acid? I don't even know. Well, not really. I'm only taking like in the teens for damage in the acid. Noise. Yeah, we're definitely doing the next one on R8. Hold up, hold up. We need a D door. And go to where the we can drop down and go to the other door. So it's another door. I think we can get just a light, light gravity gear. Right? Well, yeah, the door probably be quicker. I got something. What, what'd you get? We gotta name something. Marion of the Undying. Come on! I spent forty-five shards re-rolling for nothing. Oh, it's got three augments. Oh, it's a minor artifact. Oh, I need to go get some freaking fracking thingy dingies. Mm. That's nice. Oh, that's Can the Helm Wisdom artifact. That thing is badass. Yeah, the door's up. The door's up. Go in the door. Oh, 
where did you want to go? That, oh, that drop down. That drop down. Something where we didn't go. It said door, didn't it? Mm-hmm. Fast quest. Yeah, it is. Yeah. There you go. Ah, nice job. Enter at your own, uh, your own risk. Fireblade. Nothing in the lava. Taking a swim in the lava like a hireling. Secret door? Oh, that's that one. Chest. It's an optional, must be. Slay Claren Fireblade. Claren. It's a fat girl's name. It's a family name. Thank you, you're welcome. I'm not fat. Well, not at present, but I can see you're pushing maximum density. Breakfast club. Well, he hits hard. Yeah, he does. I'm gonna get John Bender on your ass, Claren. <laughs> Forgot my pencil. There's no punchline to it. They just made it up. Naked lady walks into a bar. Poodle the under one arm, hit two foot salami the under the other. Times. She walks up to the bar, puts the poodle on the bar, and the bartender says, I guess you won't be needing a drink. Naked lady says, Oh shit. <laughs> And that's when he falls through the ceiling. But yeah, there's no punchline for it. It's not a real joke. Mm -hmm. 